Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, we're going to look at some new lip products from Natasha Denona. I have, don't judge me, I have the whole collection, I can't resist, of the brand new I Need a Rose lipsticks, lip pencils, lip glosses. I bought the whole collection. I know, I know, don't judge. I hear rose and I get excited. I like rose water. I like rose flowers. My daughter is named after a rose. I am wearing rose. I love the new leaning rose. And it's not just me, that clearly sells. We see that so much, I think of Pat McGrath. We see it a lot, so it sells a lot. And so I was, I admittedly, I love Natasha Denona anyway, admittedly I was a sucker and I bought all three shades in all three products. Um, it just makes it more fun for us. Anyway, we're gonna look at swatches in two different lightings. Look at how emphatic I am about that. We're gonna look at swatches in two different lightings. I am going to do a demo to music in my own inimitable way. If you've been with my channel a while, you know what that looks like. And we're gonna talk about them and talk about some performance and my thoughts on the collection. You are getting a sneak peek now of the shade Kala in all three, and we're gonna talk about that. Okay, so basically the collection comes with, um, it's based around three uh, lipsticks. It's based around the three I Need a Rose lipstick, which of course comes from the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude collection, where she did a bunch of, no, some darker leaning and some lighter leaning, um, stereotypically nude lipstick shades. And now uh, this is within the nude realm too, but it goes a little bit pink and some brown leaning pink. So pink, Mobby pink, brown leaning pink. In fact, the three shades, and you're gonna see them swatched in a moment, are Peony, um, which is a pink, Daphne, which is a mauve pink, and Calla, which I'm wearing now, and you'll see swatched in a moment, which is a rosy brown shade, and the shade that most of you either DM'd me or wrote in comments you were worried would go to brown. So hopefully we can alleviate those fears today with some swatches. Okay. And matching all those three shades, we have what I would say a lip pencil, but Natasha Denona calls them a lip crayon, and the never sticky, never tacky lip glosses. Okay, the lip crayon. So I bought the whole set. I bought all nine. I told you I was a sucker on the Natasha Denona website for $186. I know, I know, I know. But you could buy the lip crayons individually for $22, even on Sephora which is where I think I have them linked below. The lipsticks for 25 and you can buy the glosses for 26. They're a little bit more. Uh, the lip crayons, let me just address this real quickly and then we'll go to swatches and the demo and all that. I just don't want anyone, there are, what, is, what did our teachers used to say in elementary school? There are no stupid questions. If I had a dime, and I'm gonna say something and so many of you are out there are gonna go, I wanted to ask that, never did. There are no stupid questions. This is an interesting looking lip crayon and I get this a lot with the Victoria Beckham ones too. People go, I hate to ask this, but they don't roll up. How do you sharpen them? And when I say just like in a sharpener, like a normal wood pencil, all of my subscribers that write this to me go, no, cause it's like, it's seemingly plastic. Yeah, you just put it in a sharpener. I know it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, okay? So there are no stupid questions, and I know some of you might be thinking that it doesn't really appear like a typical pencil, but you can sharpen it. It is waterproof, and boy, is it ever. Uh, you'll see in the swatches, I have three of them on my arm, and I really had to scrub those babies and still couldn't get them off. Definitely waterproof. Um, the lipsticks are her typical cushiony, moisturizing, same formula that we recognize from the I Need a Nude lipsticks, which are widely praised for their comfort and color saturation saturation, and how pretty they are. And they have a slight, slight vanilla scent, very slight, and have this beautiful casing, kind of a mirrored pink case, um, that's a little different for each lipstick, and a satisfying magnetic closure. And as you see, if I hold up the three cases, you'll see that they have three different tones to the cases, which is actually really nice because if you have them next to each other in a drawer, it becomes easier to tell them apart. Or you can play the game I do where you turn them over and try to see. I, You guys, nobody has eyes that can see that small, some of the writing on these lipsticks. So you're, you're doing that. I mean, it doesn't matter what your age, they're impossible to see. This is kind of nice because you can, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can 
kind of tell. And then our three lip glosses, which I have right here, never tacky, never sticky. They're always very smooth and slick feeling, very much of a traditional lip gloss, but no peppermint, no cinnamon, so no plumping. May plump by way of kind of a glossy look, but there's no plumping action that you can feel. Some of you might like that. And um, we have a traditional kind of doe foot applicator on these, pardon the loudness there. And maybe a hint of a vanilla scent, the same as the hint of a vanilla scent you would get in the actual lipsticks. Both dissipate very quickly, so there's no irritation factor there. All right, what I wanna do now is go to the swatches. Here we are first in studio light. And of course, I go from lightest to darkest. So we have Peony, the pencil, the lipstick, and the gloss, followed by Daphne, pencil lipstick gloss, and Kala, the pinky rosy brown in pencil lipstick gloss. And as you see, those glosses have their own color to them. So if you wanted to just wear the gloss, that's easy enough to do. You would still get a nice color payoff. Well, it's early in the morning. We are gonna go outside in the warm Southern California sunshine, but I do warn you that my arm in the swatches looks a little bit mottled because it actually is kind of chilly out, but we did get the sunshine. So take a look at those same swatches in the warm California sunshine, soon to be warm California sunshine, same order. I always feel like going outside gets you a little bit better color perspective. So see what you think there, print says. Okay. Um, we are going to now go to a demo so you can take a look at how these look on my lips and what I'm gonna do in the demo, okay? I am going to start always with the crayon only all over the lips. I will add the lipstick and then I will add the gloss. I don't, you could of course change these up to your heart's content. You could add, you could put one, you could just wear the lip pencil with a different gloss. You could just wear the lipstick. I'll let you guys do the innovations on your own. I just tried to do a straight up testing of the shades. If you wanna see them in another way or layered another way, just ask me. I'll put it over on Instagram for you to see. It's my pleasure. So if you don't see what you need here, this is kind of straightforward. If it doesn't work for you, let me know what would. Let's go to the demo right now. You, but I do not feel cheated by my hoarder like purchase of all my products. For me, these are products that I will wear on me every day. And in fact, I will probably wear the lip pencils with the gloss over them 
the most. And I'll probably mix and match those pencils and glosses too. It gives it a little bit more depth actually. Um, but like I said, in the montage there, I just wanted to do it straightforward. And then you can let your imagination do the rest. In terms of comfort and reliability, this is exactly what we have known from Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude collection. It wears the same. The lipsticks are very typical. They will transfer onto a mask, um, but they don't promise not to. And But the lip crayons, those do definitely stay put in, are waterproof. And the lip gloss is a very traditional but color-saturated lip gloss that wears nice and slick and comfy like a lip gloss that we've always thought there's nothing different about it, but it's very reliable. And the shades are very pretty, kind of a pinkish nude side of things. And I really appreciate that. That's one of my favorites. And I don't find Kala to be too brown of a pink. I think these will work for so many uh, skin tones and colors and things like that. And we have so many roses already in our collection when you think about it in terms of eyeshadows that to me, this is a really nice complimentary collection for a makeup wardrobe, but now it's your turn to let me know what you think. So please put those comments below. I'm always interested in what you have to say. And I know you guys still have foundation questions. It's so weird not to be doing a foundation video, uh, but there's more of that coming, my goodness. So um, any questions that you have, definitely leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. We got so much good stuff coming up and I wouldn't want you to miss any of it. So do so, schmooso, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.